Hey there, today I am helping my friend host a little supper club, which is a first. So I thought it was worth kind of like filming the behind the scenes to show you all the process we've gone through. Uh, essentially, my good friend Tolga, he has this incredibly beautiful space. It's got a lot of space as well, a lot of room. And he's recently been trying to think through how to use that space, uh, turn it into like an artist studio or a music space or host events. And so tonight is the first night where he is kind of putting that into practice and hosting the supper club. So I'm coming along for the ride, helping him out. He's got another friend, Lauren, on board to help out. And together, hopefully we can uh, make it a success. Obviously, because it's also the first uh, and only so far supper club any of us have ever done, uh, the whole event is for charity. It's not for profit. Every dollar made, or I should say pound, every pound made uh, will be going to medical aid for Palestine. And ultimately, I think it should therefore be really good vibes. Um, yeah, really good cause and bringing together some really beautiful people who care about that cause. So yeah, I'm kind of helping him out with that. Uh, he's obviously done the bulk of it. I'm helping with kind of like uh, tablescaping, which is just a fancy word for setting the table, doing some flowers, things like that. In terms of what's been going on prior to this, like I mentioned, there's been a lot of organizing and getting everything ready to make it happen. Things from thinking through like glassware, uh, tableware, uh, what, when do you want to serve the entrees? When should we be serving the mains? Organizing like entertainment, um, a playlist, musicians, all those types of things. Um, so we've had like a few catch ups IRL and over Zoom to organize those things. And now today's the day. I've been to the flower markets to pick up the flowers for the table. I've run around my house and asked my friends to borrow some of uh, their vessels as well and found pretty much every uh, candle holder or a vase or a jar that can be turned into a vase uh, to kind of give myself enough to work with when I get there. And then you'll kind of see the rest as it plays out today. We'll also be yeah prepping the space, getting ready, making the cocktails. I've enlisted Liam's help and he's volunteering his time to come and run dishes and help wash up and all that type of thing. So it's a real team effort. And I'm pretty excited for the first ever supper club I've helped host. I would definitely love to be doing more of those in the future in terms of especially curating spaces for people to come together and meet like-minded people and potentially like future friends. I think that would be super ideal. It's something I would have loved when I first came to London to find people through these kind of avenues, especially if they share interests in whatever the night is about, if there's like a theme or topic, as well as like just uh, enjoying wonderful food. <laughs> so let's head over to Tolga's now and I'll show you what's next. Okay, here we are in the space. Wowie, Tolga has literally made these benches this week. So there's still a little bit of work to do in terms of painting them eventually. But for now, for this, I guess, fundraiser, it looks incredible. And we have 48, I think 50 guests. So I'm about to set the tables. I've got some incredibly beautiful flowers lots of vases and plates and we'll see this space come to life through here in the kitchen we're gonna see like look at all this stuff oh my gosh so much going on so much produce beautiful nuts breads teas yum and tolga has <laughs> invested in so much stuff we've got incredible amounts of cutlery going on here so many glasses, <laughs> all the napkins, all the plates, a bunch of teacups for after dinner. So, so much stuff. He's got so much going on. Now we're going to help put it all together.
Okay, so we've gone for a little place setting like this. So we've got the really neutral napkin is what it's called. And then some twine wrapped around quite a few times and then just dropping in a sprig of olive stem because that's like one of the national plants of Palestine. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do that <laughs> 50 times. So just gonna sit here for a while and do 50 more napkins around the table. <laughs> place settings set up got their little olive stem got their little napkin and now we kind of got to decorate the rest of the table get the flowers and candles going It's an hour before the event, so this is probably not going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> and Lauren in the kitchen. Hello. How's it going over here? Oh my god, that's such a cool camera. I'm trying out a Palestinian tea recipe. Ooh, good time to start tea. trying. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> You're going to be better than when people want the tea. Ooh, and here are Lauren's gorgeous artworks. dish we've got dessert Can I get 
a 90? 91? <laughs> 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 Let me see. Woo! 65! 65! 70! 70! 75! 80! 80! 90! 90! 95! 100! 100! 105! 110! 110! 110! Maybe you guys can collaborate on that. Okay. <laughs> Coming on here to close this video slash night out. I'm not sure how much footage I ended up getting, but yes, I'm home. It's now 12.32. My phone knows it's my bedtime because it's got sleep mode on. Um, and I am physically and mentally exhausted. That was so draining. We've been kind of going since this morning, since like going out to pick up flowers setting the table for 50 people um, and then running all night <laughs> from about like 6 30 until like 11 30 12. yeah it was huge shout out to all the hospital workers it has been many years since they've done a proper night like that but in saying that it obviously was really cool to do. I guess I'd have to take some learnings from this. For example, I think 50 people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of running dishes out. It's a lot of washing up dishes. We also kind of only had 50 small plates, which we use for both like meze and entrees as well as dessert. So we kind of had to collect all 50, wash all 50, no dishwasher involved, kind of no formal system that a restaurant might have. It was very <laughs> grassroots in a really tightly packed kitchen space. So yeah, there were definitely a few barriers that made it a little bit more difficult than potentially, um, yeah, a restaurant or cafe space. But that said, I, yeah, I'm also crazy proud of kind of the evening that Tolgu and myself and Lauren and, and Liam, who helped so much, uh, were able to like pull together and create. The music was beautiful. The food was super tasty. I need to go get more of that food. And then also there was like an auction uh, to raise extra funds at the end there, where like everyone donated their time because of like they had a skill that they wanted to share and like the full amount would be donated and that was insane I was not expecting that to go so successfully yeah but it did like hundreds of pounds being thrown around and I think that would have added easily another thousand pounds to the donation pot so in the end I think like I'll insert the actual number once we've done the math on it all but yeah it was like hugely successful and so I feel proud about that I feel proud about obviously um the night going on as well and I'm also yeah I guess just super energized by the room the space the people the community it was all really lovely so yeah right now physically and mentally drained <laughs> but definitely tomorrow going to be like looking back and being excited by it all for now it was a pretty fun experiment and I'm really glad I got to like get involved in it okay so I'm gonna sign out here and thank you so much for watching uh, if you have like any questions or comments please leave them below and if you aren't subscribed please think about subscribing I hope you have a great day evening whatever it might be and see you next time bye